Apple, Meta, Microsoft, and more all believe in the future of technology and virtual and augmented realities. Meta, for instance, has shown its commitment by pouring billions of dollars into its metaverse and VR products since 2019. However, if you take a step back and think about this new direction toward fully immersive technology that blends the physical and digital worlds, it's incredible to see how far we've come. Just a few decades ago, we were dealing with computers weighing 30 tons, like the world's first computer, ENIAC. Fast forward to today, and now billions of people hold computers way more powerful than ENIAC in their pocket. As technology around computers has continued to evolve and the industry behind them has become a key player in the global economy, it only makes sense that the next frontier of technology would be wearable and allow users to fully immerse themselves in a digital world, though the profitability and widespread adoption of such technology is still uncertain. But here's the question, what's the actual difference between AR and VR and how do their current use cases function in the real world? Let's break it down. Now, there is a difference between augmented and virtual reality, and it is important to understand. Virtual reality, or VR, immerses you in a completely digital world. That's why when you wear a VR headset like the Meta Quest or Vision Pro, you're suddenly being transported to a different universe, where everything you see is computer generated. So in essence, that's VR. Every pixel, every sound is designed to make you feel like you're somewhere else entirely. Now, let's talk about augmented reality, or AR for short. This technology takes the world around you and adds to it. Think about those apps that let you see how a new sofa might look in your living room using just your smartphone. That's AR, enhancing what you see with digital elements. But then, what if we merge the two, where VR and AR come together? Well, that would leave us with a thing called mixed reality. Now, mixed reality takes this a step further. It allows you to interact with both physical and digital objects in real time. Imagine wearing a pair of mixed reality glasses and creating a digital workspace within your physical one, where all your favorite apps, emails, and websites are accessible with just a pinch of your fingers. You can grab, move, and interact with virtual objects as if they were real. Apple's Vision Pro headset is a prime example of this technology in action. This device has 23 million pixels spread across two micro OLED displays. It's like having a high-definition screen in front of each eye. And if that sounds confusing, you wouldn't be alone. Just imagine that it's seven times sharper than the average iPhone display. But it's not just about clarity, it's about capability. Imagine a surgeon wearing a Vision Pro headset practicing a complex surgery in a VR simulation. Then, during the actual operation, they can overlay real-time data like patient vitals and scans right onto their field of view. So this tool wouldn't solely be for entertainment, but could open the door and be applied in critical fields like medicine, engineering, and more. If you want to dive even deeper into its potential use cases, like treating depression or learning to play the piano, visit the resources below to learn more. So what's holding mixed reality back from becoming as widespread as smartphones? The high cost of devices like the Vision Pro, limited content, and short battery life are big hurdles. And wearing a headset for hours isn't exactly comfortable. But tech giants believe these are temporary obstacles. They're betting big on mixed reality because they see a future where our primary device isn't a phone, but something more immersive. As technology evolves and prices drop, mixed reality could become as essential as smartphones are today. If you learned something and would like to continue down your path for knowledge, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.